Okay, the question 20 says the figure below is a right pyramid VEFGH with a square base of 8 cm and a slant height H of 20 cm. Point A, B, C, and D lie on the slant edges of the pyramid such that VA is equal to VB is equal to VC is equal to VD, which is equal to 10. And the plane A, B, C, D is parallel to the base E, F, G, H. Find the length of A, B. Okay, so um, let's look at the diagram. This is a... Um, um, a square based pyramid so because they said VA is equal to VB is equal to VC is equal to VD and they said that um, ABCD is also parallel to the base EFGH so that also tells you that the base also the bigger base is also a square based pyramid so looking at dates similar triangles are beginning to come into um, um, are beginning to appear like I'm beginning to think this has something to do with similar triangles now it says find the length a b okay so now study this diagram you can see v h is 20 cm and v a is 10 cm that tells you that v c2 is 10 cm v b is 10 cm and v d is 10 cm okay now f g is 8 cm Okay, so that tells you too that since it's a square based pyramid, FE is going to be 8 cm, EH is going to be 8 cm, and GH is going to be 8 cm. Okay, establishing those facts now. Now, in order to get our AB, so AB, point AB, okay, so point AB all over 8 cm. Now, remember you're saying, um, okay, let's. Um, establish something um let's do this now let's say another way to say this is point a b for this um this base of this um pyramid over point f g is the same thing as point v a over the bigger one which will be v f okay i don't know if you got that Point AB over FG is equal to VA over VF. The reason is because they are similar triangles. Now, this thing means AB is going to be, we're looking for AB, and our FG is 8, and our VA is um, 10 all over. Then um, our VF is going to be 20. So this means when I cross multiply, AB times 20 is equal to 10 times 8. Therefore, my AB is going to be um, 10 times 8 over 20. So this is 80 over 20, and that will give me 4 cm. As simple as that. So um, now I've gotten my AB. It's asking me to calculate correct to two decimal places the length of AC. Okay, so now to find the length of AC, notice. AC is the diagonal of this square. So this is the diagonal of this square. Okay. So now remember, if you know your AB, your AB is 4. BC is also 4. So I'm going to draw this little triangle. So this is the diagonal. This is our AB and this is our BC. Remember that here is 90 degrees. So this is 4 cm and this is 4 cm. So we're going to employ our Pythagoras theory because this is our hypotenuse square. So you know that your hypotenuse square is equal to 4 square plus 4 square. So this is going to be um, that AC square will be 16 plus 16 and that's what 32. Therefore AC is going to be square root of 32 and that will give us, um, so we're going to punch that in our calculator. So that will be square root of um, 32. So this will be, um, it's going to give us 5.656. Okay, so give us 5.656 um, centimeters. Now, remember that set to two decimal place, so it's going to be 5.66 cm. So this would be the length of the diagonal AC. Okay, so that is that. So we'll be going to the B part of the question, which says um, the perpendicular, we should find the perpendicular height of the pyramid V A B C D. Now, the the perpendicular height. Remember, 
if this is our pyramid, assume this is the middle, so we need to trace this height. Okay? We need to get this height. Now, remember, the length of this diagonal, it's, we got it as, from our previous question, we got it as uh, 5.66. Okay? So, if the length of the diagonal AC is 5.66, so, if you say AC divided by 2 will be 5.66 divided by 2, now that will give us, okay, let's punch that, divided by 2, that will give us um, 2.83. Okay, so that would be 2.83. So let's write it down. This would be 2.83. Okay. So the next thing we need to do, that's the diagonal. It's half of the diagonal CM. So now we know, and let's call this place the middle of this point O. So we need to now bring out, this is the perpendicular height we are looking for. This is our O. And here will be A, here is our V, and um, we join this place. This place is 10 cm. Now, here is 2.83. Now, we need to find H. So, now, we still apply our Pythagoras theorem again, which says 10 square is equal to um, H square plus 2.83 square. So, this is going to be 100 is equal to h square plus remember when you square this um 2.83 square okay so let's square that um square it's going to give us um eight okay so um so we're going to write down our eight so this would be eight so that means collecting like times this will be 100 minus 8 is equal to h square. Therefore, 100 minus 8 is going to give us a 92 is equal to h square. Therefore, our h will be square root of 92, and that will give us a okay. So let's punch that in our calculator. That will be square root of 92, and that will give us a 9.59. So our final answer here is going to be. 9.59 cm okay so um now the last question says the pyramid v a b c d was cut off find the volume of the first stream a b c a b c d e f g h now all you need to do is look at this diagram to get the base the base um, the volume of this fruit stream, all you need to do is say, okay, let me scroll down so we can have space to solve. We can say volume volume of bigger um, the volume of bigger um, square based okay, volume of bigger prism minus volume of smaller prism. Now, analyze this. When you do the volume of the bigger prism minus, you take out the volume of the smaller prism, what you do is you're going to get the volume of the full stream. So we, we want to take out the volume of this little, this um, V, A, B, C, D. Now, when you take out the volume, you just have the base. So, that is the foundation we are going to establish to solve this. Now, you need to know the volume of your prism. Volume of prism, of a square base prism, it's equal to 1 over 3 AH. Okay? So, now, for the bigger prism, we need to get the perpendicular height. So, because without the perpendicular height, we can solve for the area. For the smaller prism, we already have um, the perpendicular height, so and we know the area because if we know one of the sides which gave us, if we know side AB, which we've already looked for, I think side AB gave us um, a particular number, so we are going to get that. Side AB gave us um, AB gave us 4 cm, okay? So if we know these values, then we can get it. So all we need to do is 
we are going to look for the perpendicular height of the bigger prism. So what we will do is from this our diagram, we're going to extend our line to this point and call here our new O. Okay, so this is our new okay. There is no need. We can even apply um similar triangles to get it. Remember, um the you can say you can now say um V O, let's call this point O. Okay, let's call this point um P. Why this point is O. We can now say V O over V P. That's this is going to be VO over VP. Remember, VO is the perpendicular height of the smaller, Y VP is the perpendicular height of the bigger. Is equal to, you can now say, um, AB, AB over, over FG. So this is going to be AB, AB over FG. Now, VO, we need to get what VO is. So when we got the perpendicular height of the smaller, let's look at the perpendicular height of the smaller. Okay, so the perpendicular height gave us um okay, we need to get where we solved it. Um, that's the perpendicular height. Okay, so yes, this is it. It gave us 9.59. Okay, so that's um 9.59 over VP. It's equal to, remember your AB, our AB gave us um, 4, and our our FG is going to give us um, 8. Okay? So, if we are not mistaken, yes, that's it. So, from our previous calculation, our AB gave us 4. Okay, so at this point, we can now say, we can now cross multiply, which means 9.59 times 8 is equal to, VP times 4. Therefore, our VP is going to be 9.59 times 8 all over um, that's um, 4. So, we're going to punch this on our calculator. So, this would be um, okay times 8 equal to this divided by 4. So, the perpendicular height of the bigger of the big of uh, the bigger prism is going to be um, what's our value again? That's a 19.18. So this is going to be 19.18 cm. Okay, now we now know the perpendicular height. We can now apply our formula, which says for the bigger one, one over three times a for the big h for the big minus one over three times a. For the smaller prism and height perpendicular height for the smaller prism which is going to be one over three times the area of the bigger prism you remember each of the sides was eight so it's going to be eight times eight times the perpendicular height which is 19.18 minus one over three times for this it was four times four then times the height which gave us um, the height gave us um, the perpendicular height gave us 9.59 okay so that is it so we just need to perform this so this is uh, 1 this would be 8 times 8 this would be 64 times 19.18 all over 3 minus this would be 16 times 9.59 all over 3. Okay? So, now to perform this, this is going to be um, 1 over 3 is common in both sides. So, let's perform 64 times 19.8. So, that will be 64. 64 times 19.18. So, that's going to give us a um, one two two seven point five two. So this is one two one two two seven point five two minus. Okay, so let's do sixteen times nine point five nine. So this will be sixteen times nine point five nine, 
this is going to give us um, 153.44 so this will be 153.44 so this is going to give us 1 over 3 into so we're going to perform this subtraction so that's um, 1227.54 minus 153.44 so this will give us 1 over 3 into 1074 okay sorry can we see the value 0 0.08 0 0.08 so to get our final answer we all just need to divide it by 3 so this would be dividing this by 3 is going to give us divided by 3 it's equal to 358 so our volume is going to be 358 points. So let's get the final value point 026. Point 026 centimeter cube. Now let's check if we are asked to find to any decimal plates. Okay, to two decimal plates. So that will make us leave our final answer to 358.0. 3cm cube. Wow, it's a very interesting question. So, um, like, if you have any issues with any of our questions, you can drop your um, questions on the comment section. And um, thank you for staying tuned with us. You can click next on the playlist to get the other videos. And please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can get updates from us. Thank you.